Y and W fam. It's your girl Nita and I am back with another video. It's been a minute. I'm trying to get back on a consistent schedule. You know, I'm trying. I'm really trying, you know, but it's, it's kind of hard, you know, it's kind of hard. Because I've been gone so long, but that's also what makes it easier. Y'all can't even see my hair, but I spent like, I don't know how many hours stretching my hair, but can y'all see? It, does it even look good, bro? I don't think it looked presentable, bro. It looks like I really just wasted my time. But it's okay. Y'all did not come here for that. I'm sorry. This video is me telling you guys how I grew my Instagram. Or I might just say how I grew my social media. What's better? I don't know. But I'm going to just call it how I grew my Instagram fast. How I grew my Instagram fast. So I'm going to be giving y'all some tips or whatever. We're just going to hop straight to the video because why not, you know, why not, why not? I think this is the cutest picture. I think this is so cute. I edited it on um, prequel. No, this is the cutest picture. You know what I mean? But y'all ain't really say it. It all started in January. I think January when I decided that I wanted to, um, you know, be more active on Instagram and TikTok basically all my other social medias that i was lacking in because i'm trying to grow i'm trying to grow my ynw fam i'm trying to grow as a video creator as a content creator i want more of the world to see and be inspired by me a lot of the media basically goes by your age group a lot of the media goes by who you follow you know so they can push out you know ads and content that you know you enjoy because you're this age Aside from that, um, the number one, I'm not even going to do number one, like, top tip, this is what everybody needs to do type thing, because it's like, you have to do all these things in one. Well, this is what I did. I did all these things in one. The very first thing that's on my list is hashtags, y'all. Hashtags, hashtags. I know y'all be like, oh my gosh, that's so annoying. I don't even know what to say, or, um, you know, they don't do anything. I don't think they do anything. So, this is the reason why I think hashtags do things. I'm going to be putting stuff right here so y'all can see it or whatever. But one of my top posts is the post that I post when um, my school had like a um, concert on the yard and I performed and I used I used a good bit of hashtags you know nothing too crazy I said okay hashtag explore hashtag HBCU hashtag explore more hashtag my school and hashtag what the event was and hashtag independent artist hashtag vocalist because that's what I am but I think those hashtags are like really popping and people follow hashtags. Did y'all know people follow hashtags? Yeah. So I just recently discovered this and so I was like, mm. And then the hashtag will tell you about how many posts fall under that hashtag. The higher number of posts under that hashtag, that'll increase your chances to get more reach, you know? And it goes the same for TikTok. When people be putting like hashtag, um, people as in me too, people put hashtag for you, hashtag FY, hashtag, uh, viral just hashtags that pop like hashtags that a lot of, I'm, how many times have i said hashtag <laughs> they really help this is you know this is my opinion now. i'm not trying to say this is for everybody this is what everybody should do this is just what i think helped me okay once you change your instagram to a creator account of course go to your insights and you will see your accounts reach accounts reach my reach went crazy over like the last i think three months last 90 days y'all my reach has never been like this and it's mainly because of my posts i don't do reels like that but reels is also where it's at if you're trying to grow on instagram i'm just saying you be consistent you know posting consistently you don't have to just show up on instagram every day live or doing like a lot of outrageous stuff the thing is like i just this is my personal opinion i feel like like my main support comes from people that i don't even know like it's just how it's always been though that's i think that's how it's always gonna be like you're gonna get your most support from strangers whether it be like your business your brand or whatever yeah i've never had over 1,000 on a post so for me to see that i was like something is happening for real like what is the reason why so i went to my insights and insights y'all once you go on your insights it will tell you um your post insights you'll see the overview the reach you'll see engagement and you'll see post interactions profile activity so so impressions you see it'll say from explore from hashtags from home from other and so impressions all of my impressions from that particular post the total number being 22,706 from explore 
20,239 from hashtags 989. They're the second highest. But the reason why I say hashtags is important because I use hashtag explore. And so that hashtag pushes to explore page. And so that's why I feel like most of my impressions come from like, I don't even feel like it. Like it's the data. Numbers don't lie. Like most of my impressions come from the explore page. People mainly see me on the explore page. I didn't know that. Like back in the day, I used to be like, oh my gosh, I wish I could be on somebody's explore page. Hold up. I think I fixed the lighting. Okay. But yeah, like it's crazy because I've never known to, like, I never knew that I would be on people's explore pages. Use hashtags and watch you end up growing. Like for real, for real. Because I don't even want to say before I got to college, I wasn't like booming on Instagram. Putting myself out there on Instagram now that I'm in college. Like, I think my confidence kind of grew a little bit being in college, going to HBCU and all that, being around other people, like seeing more people and like adding more people on Instagram. Like it's, I don't know. I think it all like comes into my Instagram growth too. Hashtags, hashtags, hashtags. Okay. My second tip that I'm going to tell y'all is to be consistent. I say this with a lot of stuff. Like that's how, that's about life in general. Like you have to be consistent. If you want to see growth, if you want to see anything prosper, you have to be consistent. Of course, you know, people need social media breaks. You're not supposed to be on the media all the time anyway. Like, that's really unhealthy. But, you know, if you're trying to grow, be consistent. Not saying you need to be overly consistent. You know, at least let the people know that you're not just somebody that they're following to, like, just to follow. You're somebody that's going to, like, make their timeline brighter or you're going to motivate you're going to inspire them when they see you on the um your timeline or you're going to like give them something pretty to look at or give them a tutorial give them something to say give them something to share with somebody else like that's the whole purpose i believe of social media is only once i have a schedule but i've just been posting more on instagram like i just i just been posting more than i used to post on instagram so i think that also you know that also place in the fact that i have been growing i post um but before college it was july it was June, then it was March after that. Like, it was spaces, you know? Wasn't really that consistent. And then I was deleting posts too because I just felt like I used to be ugly in my old posts or whatever, you know, like archiving stuff. So my feed, my page itself was looking a little skim, which it kind of do still look skim, but that's besides the point. Like, I'm trying to be consistent here. I'm posting like March, 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 like a few times a month, you see? I think that also helps. I have a couple posts that I posted in March. One, two, three, four, five. Like five posts in March. And each of those posts did numbers I've never seen before. Like that was five straight. Well, I won't say five straight. Well, yeah, that was five straight posts in the same month. But it wasn't like back to back. Like it was March 2nd, March 4th, March 17th, and March 22nd type stuff. Like, you see? And, you know, hashtags played a part in that as well. But like I said, consistency. My third tip is to know your times to post. Everybody's times is different. This is me. This is coming from me. Okay, this is what I believe. Y'all go to other videos on YouTube. I know I was watching a couple of videos. Uh, I was watching a couple of videos. People were saying, oh, post during this time. Post during this time. Post during this time. Like strict times to post. I don't, I don't agree with that. Because simply because you can go to your insights and you can go to your followers it tells you your followers like most active times y'all like did y'all know that i don't know but it's like it's within the creator so you have to switch your account to i think a business professional you have to switch your account to something like that like in order to see these like this data so um most active times and so you scroll all the way to the bottom and it'll show you the hours and days that your followers are most active but uh, as it gets later, people tend to get on social media. Like, our generation tends to get on social media. And let me go back. It also shows you the ages and locations. Like, it's just, it doesn't get more helpful than that. So, that's why my other tip under this is to check your insights. Insights will help you. I'm telling you. Like, to know how to grow, you have to check your insights. That's just, it's here for you. They're, they're helping you. They want you to grow. Instagram wants you to grow. Yeah. So, at my college, I follow a lot of people on my campus. So knowing the times of like the busiest day where people have a chance to be on their phone and go on social media and stroll, like the times where you mainly see people just walking, looking down, is like 12 through three, especially three, because people mainly be out of classes at three. Um, if not three o'clock, I would say I post five o'clock, five o'clock. And if not five, nine o'clock at night. That just happens to be a really good time for me. Like, but 
majority of our age group is on their phone at 12 a.m that's just that's just the truth if not 12 a.m like the later the better if that makes sense because people are always on their phones like it's be especially with tiktok that's really a tiktok tip like posting times or whatever but yeah y'all you have to know your times so check your followers to mind you that's just the followers times that doesn't show you like just people on instagram in general like most active times and so i would suggest just like think about like common things that happen in life so people normally go to lunch at 12 p.m every day so people have a chance to be on their phones you know people are always on instagram strolling at lunch more than likely so that time uh falling under that like 3 p.m that's when most kids get out of school you know you just have to think about like majority of the world here like the people that own social media they want you to like become social media influencers because you can push their platform they wouldn't want you to not push their platform it's a win-win situation a little recap hashtags you know consistency you got to know your times to post check your insights because they're there for you they're, they're for you nobody else can see your insights except you unless you share them you know and okay yeah that's just where we are now all my little baby tips in this tip utilize tag accounts okay tag accounts tag people in your posts post shareable content or content that people want to save and strive to grow the right way okay let me just do a little, a little mini breaking down of each and every single one of the things that i just said um tag accounts i tag all my like i tag all my clothes i don't i don't know i'm not one of those guys that's like oh my gosh you're not gonna know what i got you know you're not gonna know who i'm wearing or what i'm wearing because i don't want you to wear it either like it's not that it's just clothes okay it's just clothes babe it's, just, it's literally just clothes like you can tag where the, um you can tag the brand you can tag where it came from People will also find it they'll save your post to come back to it come back to your post which is gonna boost your reach you know like all of that is gonna help you grow it's just it's just I feel like we all can win I always feel like that everybody can win I don't like when people be like oh I have to be the top this I have to be the best that no we all can be good like it's it's room it's room okay anyways yeah utilize tagging accounts also post pictures like with friends or whatever tag their accounts or whatever your, your friends friends will see your posts and then like they might want to follow you growth things like people would want to share on their story it could be something motivational something funny in your post you know you can actually post funny tiktok y'all know y'all can post y'all tiktoks on instagram yeah like y'all can do that i just you can grow on both at the same time i've been trying to do that but it's kind of hard you know like with different times that works best for my um instagram audience and my tiktok audience so i'm not growing that good at the same time like it's like one is gonna outgrow the other one that's how i feel but it's okay because you know a little growth is still growth you know um strive to grow the right way strive to grow the right way y'all like Y'all know people be out here having fake Instagram accounts. People be out here making, like, just, not even just people. Like, it be bots that be fake Instagram accounts. Y'all see all the people in my comments? Oh, my gosh, we love this. DM us to collab. No, you're fake. You're fake, babe. You're, you're fake. Like, how am I going to collab with you? I don't even know how they be doing that. Like, as soon as I post my picture, it be, like, 10 comments already from, like, fake bots and, like, fake Instagram pages. Like, I don't know. Maybe they gain something from that. Maybe they get paid. I don't know i don't i don't know nothing about all that scamming stuff but i just feel like just do it the right way because instagram is gonna catch a hold to that if they don't then like somebody somebody will re report your page my dms is weird accounts it's just weird like everything fake brand ambassador partnerships why y'all know people out here wanting to be um brand ambassadors so bad they don't know the difference between real and fake y'all please y'all don't be giving these people y'all card information don't be doing nothing to none of these weird instagram pages somebody truly wants you and like truly wants you to be their brand ambassador do research on them do research but if you go on that page and they got pictures of people and like they all they all the pictures are posted at the same time or like all the pictures are posted on the same date and in all the pictures is one girl or like in all the pictures it's like it's something that they would like take steal if it's like a google picture no i know sometimes you know we may not know if it's, if it's a scam or if it's real but if you don't know ask me instagram will be deleting fake instagram followers instagram wants to provide a community 
a completely authentic, genuine experience to its users. So if it's all these fake pages out here, they just go think, oh, well, like nobody really like hair clothes for real. If it's all like one person being 100 different accounts, I'm almost done. I know I've been talking for like a thousand hours per usual because <laughs> your girl likes to talk, but it's okay, y'all. Y'all, I had to speak at the um high school. I spoke to the kids about college. I spoke to the kids about college, y'all. I, let me start saying kids like them people in high schools. I went to the high school and spoke to high schoolers about college, y'all. I have college tips coming with a special guest. And my special guest, y'all gonna wanna know. Yeah. Y'all gonna wanna know. Like, we have the... Ooh, we, do we have the tea, baby? Do we have the tea, baby? And it's mainly HBCU advice, you know. Sorry to those that are going to PWIs because we, we can't speak on PWIs because we don't go there. Or we haven't gone there, so yeah off topic back to what i was saying back to the actual video um yeah y'all my final little tip for y'all my final little gem for y'all is to promote yourself nobody is gonna promote you like you promote you nobody is gonna promote you the way you want to be promoted like you so as soon as i got to college you know everybody was posting their instagrams and they group me and whatever i was like ooh. Let me post mine. So I post my Instagram in the group me. I post my YouTube in the group me. Um, later in the semester, when people started knowing who I actually was, I post my the fact that I do graphic design. You know, they start hitting me up or whatever. Make it bank because people support you. People that want to support you will support you. There's always, like I said, everybody can win. And so, like, not even just posting stuff like saying follow me on the gram or whatever. You can literally um just tell people like in my classes or whatever i'll be like um or my friends my um college friends that i was just meeting they be like oh what's your name i'll be like oh my name nia my name nia my name is i whatever you know follow me on the ground like i squeeze that in there follow me on the ground you know whatever follow your girl but that's the thing about it, hbcu like everybody does something like everybody does something and you're going to find a lot of people that happen to do the same thing and like the support is just it's unmatched. It's just unmatched. And it'd be complete strangers, y'all. Like, complete strangers. It'd be the strangers. But then the strangers are just friends we haven't met yet. But, like I said, you know, promote yourself. Ways I have promoted myself, not just sitting in a group meet and telling people to follow me. I also, like, I share my stuff. I share my accounts from one social media to the next. Like, I'll post my YouTube video on Snapchat. I'll post, not the whole video. I'll post the link on Snapchat. And then I'll post, like, um, a video dropping soon on, like, all my other platforms, except TikTok, because who's posting like that on TikTok? Why TikTok got stories now, y'all? I think that's just weird. Like, all these accounts, all these social media platforms trying to be the same social media platform. I don't know, it, somehow it helps, I guess, growing and all that. But it's just like, why? You're not Snapchat. Why am I putting a story on TikTok? I'm supposed to be anyways that's just me though but um yeah like on TikTok I'll share my TikTok to Instagram I'll share my um Instagram posts on Facebook like just little things like that you can all that's you promoting yourself because what if somebody on Facebook didn't know you had this social media and they have and they're like oh I want to see you on this too like just to see if it's the same content yeah yeah I'm about to go eat but um I think that's all I have to say you know please promote yourself Know how to promote yourself. Promote yourself in the light you want people to see you in. And like your page, make sure your page is the way you want it to be. Like right now, I need to be like, make sure my page is the way I want it to be. Like make sure you're spreading the messages that you want to be spreaded. Make sure this is how you would like people to see you. Cause you know, people only post like the best sides of them on social media. Like that's just how it is. Just make sure it's you, you know? I know this is social media and like none of this stuff actually really matters. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to make this your life. You don't have to commit to none of this stuff. This is your life, okay? Yeah. I hope this video is really helpful for y'all. I hope I helped y'all. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. You know? subscribe to your girl follow me on tiktok follow me on snapchat <laughs> follow follow me on instagram add me on snapchat um y'all can't get facebook so yeah i like this video you know share it with a friend like i said i hope this is shareable content like let me go back hello put me in the beginning i meant to say this in the beginning ah i mean okay shareable content could also be advice 
Like giving somebody advice. People like it. Hello? Hello? Ma'am? Yes, ma'am? Oh. Mom, say it's my vlog. I'm in the video. Hello? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> We're about to watch How to Get Little Murder, and I just got started, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm on season two, but it's so crazy, so crazy. Yeah, y'all. So this video is over now, and I just been talking for the longest, and I don't know if I'm gonna include what I said because I said a lot of stuff. So yeah, I will see y'all in my next video. I love y'all. Bye.